Welcome to Nerd Out. That's right. It is Friday. Yeah, it's Friday, January. Let's go with 21st. And uh, there's a lot of new stuff for you. A lot of new stuff here. We will uh, We'll start. Where should we start today? Should we start with Star Wars? No, let's start over here. Let's start with this stuff. Uh, let's start with LeBron. Check that out. That's the Mafex LeBron. Uh, it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm a LeBron fan. So that might be getting myself in trouble, but uh, no, nah, you know, he's all right. He's a pretty, pretty, pretty good player. Uh, anyways, I just created enemies. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, ODB, look at these. I got these back in stock. Um, they were here a while ago, but they were like really expensive. Now they're back to earth and it's a great figure. Highly recommend it. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of uh, reaction stuff, but we'll get there when we get there. Oh, these are cool. Uh, all these people looking for, um, asking for Demon Slayer stuff. These are little, little mini figs. These are cool. So finally some Demon Slayer merch. Very cool. If I did cover those already, sorry about that. Uh, I got the rest of the Ultimates, uh, Ninja Turtles Ultimates. And, uh, you gotta see this in person, but this, particularly this, this Muck Man is fantastic. It is, look at the detail. It is, uh, it is big too. Uh, Mondo Gecko's sweet too, but I, I think Muck Man's the the one to go with if you well i don't know if mondo gecko is your guy then then go with that uh let's see uh what else do i have here oh this is great oh i gotta take all this stuff down i got a bunch of uh neca turtles too if you missed them but so mezco has done a line called the five points and they're doing really cool high detailed i guess they're pretty detailed uh five point articulation figures and they did this uh excellent popeye set I'm really, really digging this set. Another one where like you, you just gotta look at it in person. Uh, I'd open it up, but I'm not going to right now. But uh, just, just really nice. Like I like the reaction stuff, but I think the detail and the sculpting on these five points are a little bit more superior. But I guess it's personal preference. And speaking of that, I'll go ahead and show you this Batman. Um, this is amazing. This is also one of the Mezco five point sets. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to show you this one because this one is so amazing. It's like a one and done set and it's huge. Like, I don't know if you can really grasp how big it is, but it is huge. So in the set, you have pretty much the characters you need. Like maybe, maybe a, a few of them are missing. Like maybe Batgirl would have been cool. Maybe Dr. Freeze. But all the three and three fourth inch figures are here, and this is this is the the, the the highlight right here. Look at this. It's got a nice scaled Batmobile, and it is really detailed. Like I really like the finish of this. So I've got these uh, classic '66 Batman five point sets in stock. I got about four of them. They're about they're about 150, which I think is a great price for everything you get. Let's move on. But uh, honestly, uh, when they're gone, people are going to be going to be sad they didn't get them, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Oh, I got some loose turtles, some cool loose NECA stuff. There's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, Leatherface. I got a bunch of uh, Pursuit of Cobra Joes. Uh, I've said it before, Pursuit of Cobra other than uh, the original uh, A Real American Hero, I think I think Pursuit of Cobra is my favorite Joe line. Classified's working their way in that direction, but I'm still a three and three fourth inch kind of collector, so that's kind of hard to overcome. But uh, yeah, so I got some Pursuit of Cobra stuff. Uh, I got some Star Wars Black stuff coming in. I don't know if I got anything new. Um, let's see, what else do we have? I know I got some Transformer. I got some cool Transformer third party stuff here. This is cool. I like that stuff. That's uh, the Despotron. That was a good Megatron. Despotron. Uh, I did put out a bunch of loose new Transformer stuff. Mostly Siege era War for Cybertron stuff. Some really nice ones in there. So come check those out if you're a Transformer fan. If not, then just look elsewhere. Uh, let's see. What else did we put out here? I'm talking in the, the third person, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's go around here. Oh yeah, you know what? I should have probably noted it. I got some also some more uh, Ninja Turtles NECA stuff back in stock. Uh, let's see. Oh, big big stuff right here. Let's let's go over here. 
Oh, I got a ton of comic books uh, I put out. And, and really, like, there's a lot going out. You should really check them out. The sun is really killing it. But there's some really, uh, really great look. Kind of hit up, but, like, really cool era, um, like, 60s and 70s stuff, both Marvel and DC. Like, you know, Werewolf by Nights. I mean, they're, like I said, the conditions aren't that great, but they're priced... I think they're priced well. And then a bunch of that stuff is in the dollar bins as well. I plan on putting out more comic books as the week goes on. Probably bring out another long box or so. Uh, but let's go to these. Um, look at this. These are the Ultimate Michael Myers. Can't really see it with reflection. There is a glow in the, uh, glow in the dark, a light up jack-o'-lantern. It's pretty awesome. You can never have too many Michael Myers figures. And also uh, from Scream, the Ghostface Ultimate is in stock. I don't think there's any light up jack-o'-lanterns here, but it's still pretty cool. And if you want something a little different, I also have the Ghostface Cloth Series figure. I don't know which one I like better. I, I think, I don't know, they both have their own charms. Nevertheless, you don't have to, you, you, you can pick either or, so that's good. Uh, NECA also has released these awesome, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, King Features superheroes. You got Ming. These are like, you know, the stuff your great-grandparents would talk about. Just kidding. Actually, no, there's some old stuff, but I like this one the best. Flash Gordon. I'm a sucker for Flash Gordon. Anytime they come out with a Flash Gordon figure, I'm uh, I'm in. So, companies, be known. If you want to make a quick buck off me, just make a Flash Gordon figure. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, let's go to reaction. I have restocked the Mars Attacks reaction. This is a great figure. I love that figure. Um, and I also got in the They Live Obey reaction figure. I think that's great. I like that a lot. I also, where is it? Uh, one, of the, one of the best reaction figures I think that they have done right here. The Iron Giant. And it comes with a little, look at that. I love this figure. I think this looks great. Uh, there aren't a lot of Iron Giant figures out there. Like, I think they did this uh, this cool Marvel Select one down there. But I, I don't know. There's something about this one I really like. I like the scale of it. Um, not everyone likes that scale. I do, so let that be known. Let's see. Marvel Legends always putting out new Marvel Legends. I don't recall specifically what I got in. I talked about Sandman last week. I know that everyone's looking for that Spider-Man wave. They actually should be shipping soon, but we'll talk about all that stuff uh, in a little bit. Oh, these are cool. Let me show you these. Really got a lot of new stuff. I hope I hope this isn't too long. These uh, Wacky Wobblers, these are like Funko. This is like pre-Funko uh, pre Pops. Before Funko Pops, there was Wacky Wobblers. And these are pretty cool. I like them. They've got a lot of character. And I got a bunch of them. So come by, check them out. Maybe you'll like something. Uh, let's see. I know I got some other really cool stuff. Oh, I got some of these these cool wrestling uh, figures. Kind of cartoony, but there's a whole bunch of them. Um, let's take a walk, because I don't remember now. Uh, oh, I did get a bunch of Funko Pops. I don't remember which ones I got, but I got a lot of them. So come take a look at the Funko Pops if you're into Funko Pops. Also, big, 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 I got a big order of stickers like over over a thousand new stickers in here so come by the three for a buck can't really go wrong with that and there's so many of them there's tons and tons of new stickers well, let's see what else we have um maybe it's time to talk about what's coming soon let me just make sure i cover everything that came out that's worth noting always putting vintage stuff out too i don't remember what i put out but come by take a look and uh, we'll see what we have. Uh, this 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 weekend and next week will be big weeks. I will tell you some of the stuff that's coming soon. I have some Naruto Anime Heroes figures. Also, uh, One Piece Anime uh, Heroes figures. Bo both the same line, but uh, I don't know enough about the anime to really tell you who they are. Um, I've got uh, the... WWE Ultimate Hollywood Hogan's coming back in. It's pretty good news if you're a Hogan fan. Uh, I've got the Funko Gold Tupac figure. That should be cool. The Reaction G.I. Joe figures. I am pretty excited about that. I got the uh, the Arctic uh, sled in, which I sold out of. But I'll be finally getting the figures in, which uh, I, I'm really interested. They might be here Saturday. But uh, check with me first before you come all the way out here. 
I'll also be getting the Hyatt Aliens Queen Alien. If you're into the highest stuff, which I like quite a bit, this is this line. They're like three and three fourth inch, really detailed aliens and predators. I will be getting the queen aliens in. I'll be getting a restock of the Star Wars Black Series Casca Reeves. So for you who need your Mandalorians, I will have those in stock. Oh, what else is coming out? There is a lot more. Um, I should be getting some really cool figures in next week, but I currently can't tell you about it now. The information is, in fact, classified. But, with that said, stay tuned. Anyways, Nerd Out is located at 8106 West Nine Mile Road in Oak Park, Michigan. Just, was it, west of uh, downtown Ferndale. I'm always buying, selling, and trading. I'm open Friday and Saturday 11 to 7. Sunday's 12 to 5. The only day I am closed is I am closed on Monday. So don't come by here on Monday because the door will be closed. Uh, yeah, what else is there to say? The sun is shining. It's Friday. Come on down. Look at some toys. Look at some action figures. Look at some weird stuff. And uh, until next time, nerd out.